Good morning, guys. Um, Annie has an EEG today, and I have to time her nebulizer just perfectly just before we go because her EEG is at 10 and she's on her nebulizer every four hours. So I think I'm gonna do it maybe around 8 just before we go. That way, we're not running into any problems. I'm also gonna carry her inhaler couple of um snacks with her some uh you know some odds and ends <sighs> yes child her appointment is all the way in Charlotte which is like not even an hour south of us so it's not that big of a deal they were supposed to send me directions, um, an email, uh, paper directions via postal service. None of that ever occurred. So I had to call yesterday and use my mom voice to get what I need. So I was given a set of instructions and I'm pretty sure we've been there before with Lucy. The address sounds familiar and the description sounds familiar. So I guess we'll just have to find it the hard way. Street. It just says turn right. Well, there's Levine right there. It says Levine Avenue, but we're looking for a uh, CMC. Turn right up here. Turn right and then left. You have about 400 feet. So we turn here. Yes. Turn right. In 800 feet, keep left at the fork. Turn right. I'm trying. And here it is. Here. Okay. Continue straight, then you will arrive at your destination. But where? Well, the main. She said to go to the main entrance and look for the golden doors. So. We just have to, uh, to yeah, don't go to Levine's, go to CMC. No, I'm going here. Yeah, just go to so uh, CMC, go through the Golden Doors. We have to get the Oh, pack. we parked over here in a parking yes. lot, remember? Yes, I, this is exactly where they sent Lucy years yeah. and years ago. I, kn I knew the address sounded familiar. Golden Doors. Yeah. You've arrived. We got a pair of bread in the freaking lobby. This place is like a hotel room instead of a hospital. Up the elevators we go. That's all right. I was Bite your bracelet.
Blow your pinwheel. Can you blow? Blow it. There you go. You want to close your eyes? There you go. Our friends good are trying to get that key. Right. She did good. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Okay. It's okay? You want me to stand beside you? No, no, don't press any buttons. Press no buttons. Don't press any buttons. Yeah, we're Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Come on. We're good. All right, come on. Do you remember where you parked? This is where it gets fun. We gotta take another elevator. Here. Over here. I have to take an elevator to get to the car that you parked. Yeah, you had to take an elevator to get down to the floor. Oh, you gotta take an elevator to get to the car. This way, no, hey! This way, this way, sweetie. You gotta be very careful here. Push this button. This Good job, button. button. There you go. Come on. That's number one? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I got a thing. No, 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 no. Hello. What's happening? Oh, I'm gonna grab my leg. Oh, boy, it works. <laughs> wow. Just wait for it. Wait. Here it comes. Here it goes. <laughs> All right. Come on. Sit back. This way. Somewhere around here. <laughs> Somewhere around here. I figure about six o'clock we should find our car. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Ma'am, give me your hand. Where's your cars? I see my car. I was not going to walk right past my car. Come on, Mame. I got him. Grab your stickers. Him. Grab your stickers. Come here. Come here. I got it. Come on. Before you lose something else. Uh, all right. Let me get her buckled in. No, you're not. No, sit back. Uh-uh. Leave the windows alone. It's really warm. I have to take off my coat. It is just too... It just... Oh, it's just so nice. I'm glad. It's so warm. I'm glad it's a pretty day. I had to take my coat off. Why? Because it's nice. Yeah, it's warm. I'm pretty. You ready to go? Let me do. Huh? She needs her inhaler real fast. Um, she's getting this now because at four she gets the nebulizer and then she gets the nebulizer again at eight. So I have to do this super fast. Oh yeah. Shut the door. You did good. Shut the door. Somebody parked. Shut the door. I got it. But next to us, and their radio is really annoying and loud. Yeah. So I don't even know. It's crazy trying to get out of this freaking parking ramp, parking garage. Ugh. They validated our parking. Now we have to take up uh, the ticket to the gate. Hopefully they accept the damn thing. They should. There's no reason why they won't accept it. Sure, and this is just level three. We have two more, three more three levels. More yeah, three, three more levels to go. <laughs> level three. Remember when we were here with Lucy, it was a whole lot closer. Oh, look, parking space is open. Level two.
see old boy cradling his beer in there? No, that guy had a beer? Yeah. Holy beer. cow. Sitting there. That's not a good combination at all. There we go. Maybe. It took us 15 minutes just to get out of the parking ramp. Go, sir. Not too bad, that was self. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, that was easy. Yeah. You're getting out there, is It's it? a beautiful day. Yeah, pretty enough, I can go back home and work on my... It's days like this that I just want to stay and explore, because I'm sure there's all kinds of history oh, yeah. museums and there cemeteries is, around here that I could hit. But we yeah. Got, gotta get back for Lou. We're on a time frame. We have to get back before Lucy gets out of school and Jaina gets out. Follow um, 16 North. Oh yeah, the problem is getting back to 16. You always keep me in the country type of guys. One of these days, we're gonna come out here and explore for a little while. On my days off, when we have extra money, just to kind of explore and just take our time and not be on such a crunch time frame. I don't. big cities anymore. I don't like cities in general for the most part. I'd be happy with an almost trading post. But that's me. I can do both. I love bigger cities because there's more stuff to do and and there's more opportunities. But go chuckles go. I would rather go, like go 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 kind of like how we are like we live close enough to go to Charlotte if we have now we to. have to turn on. and then turn but left we, again, don't we yes but we live in a in like an urban in an urban setting are you sure but Charlotte is a reasonable driving distance yeah I think we might have to go right because I don't remember passing the big ass crane but I do enjoy my peace and quiet I enjoy having not that many neighbors and eventually I want to settle in a place that's way out, away from people. Not that I'm not a people person, but I do need lots and lots of space. I need lots of space. I want like a farm with lots let's, of space. Let's just buy your aunts. But I want to be able to drive and get to a city if I, if I need to, let's or if I want to. There's, yeah, we're 16 right there. We're good to go. Right there. We had to stop on the grocery store on the way home. Um, I had to pick up some things for dinner. We had to grab a drink because we're dying of thirst. I grabbed Annie a drink and paid for it before we started to shop. He's in the bathroom. My husband's in the bathroom. I'm waiting for him to go back so I can go because Annie is just not letting me out of her sight right now. So I've been holding my bladder ever since, ever since we walked into the store. And if you ever had to hold your bladder because your kid actually absolutely refused to give you up, props to you, man, because that's just, my bladder is screaming at me right now, but I'm waiting for him to get back, because I, oh. Is that what you want? Yeah, it's the, the chocolate waffles? Yeah. Nummy, num num. She, she suckered me into a lunchable. Yeah, my dad is like a piece. No. No. That's for leave you. It, leave it alone. Don't open That's it. for you. Mega Man. It. Oh, do they have a snack for this afternoon? I don't know. I don't think so. I didn't check. I didn't bother to check. I'll get like a bag. I want chips. Yeah, we'll go down here I want chips. You're not getting chips and a Lunchable. One or the other. I'm not buying tons of junk food. Those? Those are buy one, get one? Yeah. <laughs> She's tired. Yeah. Grab um are they what are they barbecue? Grab one plane and one barbecue. Yep. Y'all, I have a habit of cleaning up my house before I go somewhere. So when I came home, it was pretty decent, it was nice and clean. And the only thing I had to do was um put a load of dishes away and then put another load of laundry in the dryer. 
I hate being bogged down when I have an appointment like that with Annie. So I try to get stuff out of the way before we leave. That way it's not overwhelming. As soon as you step in your house, you don't have that overwhelm. You don't have that overwhelming feeling of trying to get a thousand things done at once. Because keep in mind, I still have two other kids coming home from school. They're, they're going to have homework and I'm going to have more chores to do and we're going to have dinner to make. And my shed is almost done. I know I know. I told you guys we, we bought the shed and we've been working on it since yesterday and it's almost done. My husband, whenever he has a project, he's very diligent about getting it done. And all we need is just like the door and the roof. I'll show you guys in a bit what it looks like. But right now I have a load of laundry to put away, which is something else that I try to do. As soon as something is done, I go ahead and, and uh, finish the task. Like if I had a, a, a fresh load of laundry that just came out of the dryer, I'll go ahead and put it away. Or if I have a load of dishes that's sitting up here, I'll go ahead and dry them put them away. Because I really don't like a lot of clutter. And I try and stay neat as much as possible. And I've always been like this. I've always been the type of person who tries to stay neat because everything else is chaotic. So I try to keep my home comfortable yet clean and neat and organized because I can't stand clutter. My life is already clutter. My life is already clutterful, clutterful, cluttered enough. So I'd rather go ahead and you know, just keep neat and organized when I can because I can't control everything. But I can't control what my house looks like. Everybody went outside. So I took the opportunity to really, really, really clean my house. It is nice and beautiful here right now. It's like 83 degrees. And everybody went outside. I ran back in and changed my shorts because, honey, it is hot. Okay, but it's at that fine line where you're not sure you want to cut on your air conditioner or not just yet because it's still March. But I had to go put on some shorts. And my shorts from last year are way too big. I had, I ditched all my ones that are way too big. The ones that are like sizes 18 and 20, 22, I gave those away. I'm wearing a size 16, and these are baggy as crap. Uh, so I'm probably, I probably can squeeze into a size 14 shorts, maybe, maybe 12. That's probably kind of stretching it a little bit. But we're making dinner right now. It's Taco Tuesday in my house. I got some taco meat going on. I got my shells in the oven. I've got some rice in the microwave. Some Uncle Ben's ready rice. I'm gonna put that on my taco too. So um, I'll see you guys in a few minutes.